what was your favorite thing about the Roadhouse Festival? Just the, the weather was amazing. The sun was shining. Right after that snowstorm? Right after that snowstorm. It was all snow, but like a day after or two days after, sun is shining in your face. It's oh, not that cold. It was great weather. Was People, we, we could have weather. popped sweaters and just stayed like that. Yeah. Yeah, I really loved it. How about you? Uh, my favorite thing was connecting with the uh, brewers yeah. and interviewing the people. That that felt like I a lot of fun. Up. I really enjoyed that part because it was like, okay, we get to kind of grow, connect more with the audience, yeah. uh, grow the demographic, and then speaking with the owners of the Shouts breweries. Shouts out to everyone, by the way, if yeah. you guys watch. For real. And then if you watch the last episode or the, I guess, the vlog of the... Century Roadhouse Beer Festival, <laughs> Block of the Century. <laughs> um, but I really like talking with the with the Steam Whistle Breweries, the Whitewater Breweries, yeah. the Henderson Breweries, because like it built a connection with them, and yeah. hopefully we could collaborate more yeah. in the future. Was it Sarah? It was Sarah. Yeah. Sarah was dope. Raiden was dope. Yeah. The other, what was the other one? Anyways, yeah. we met with some great people. Yeah. Uh, no. But today we're uh, we're actually drinking for a reason of celebration. And uh, that, not yet, not yet. Well, not yet. oh well, for well, for, yeah. for my wife, yeah, but yeah. hopefully for Ion soon. Yeah. So, uh, my wife got her PR, which is huge. We live here in Canada. It took a very long time. And, so yeah, we're drinking because my wife obtained her PR, and Ion Congrats. took a positive step towards his citizenship. Yeah, Lord Willen. Yeah, Lord Willen. So, cheers to that, man. I'm still waiting for this hazy. So, what have we got today? Oh yeah. We have. Cheers to that. Cheers. Hold up one second. A delicious New England IPA from Great Lakes Brewery called Hazy Mama. Or Haze Mama. Or sorry, yeah, my bad. Haze Mama. Yeah. Mama. Just Mama. like the guy from Migos. Rest in peace. Yeah. God rest yeah. his soul. So here on the back it says only when light is uh, combined. combined. With dark is the universe perfect and complete. Some yin yang. Mama. Some yin yang. Stuff. Some yin yang. Hayes Mama is an example of the sacred science of object interaction. This IPA. You know what? Surprisingly, we met people that actually like IPA. <laughs> at the event. I thought they were imaginary people. Yo, we thought they were imaginary. Like I thought, who, who's, who's creating these? Like, who are these IPAs created for? Yeah. I always thought that those people didn't exist. We interviewed them. We interviewed them. But hey, they were great guys, too. No criminal great record. Guys. Yeah, no. <laughs> Hopefully not. But amazing people. It's just, turn, apparently they like pain or yeah, something. Yeah. I don't know. They, IPAs are tough to drink. They're yeah. a man-maker. So it says here, this IPA features a unique yeast strain that is a central ingredient in accessing a balance and diving st- uh, divine state of consciousness. Okay, yeah. Uh, it uses the ability to <laughs> so conjure dismiss. a, dis- okay, sure. <laughs> a <laughs> distinctive <laughs> tropical profile by softening the bitterness while intensifying the hop bouquet. All of that is true yeah. from tasting it. I believe that. Mm-hmm. Hayes Mama grants us access to levels of perception otherwise unavailable to others, meaning sober people, yeah. and puts an end to uh, imbalance, but yeah. also makes you off balance if you drink too many. Ooh, Haze bars. is our contract point, our contact point with clarity on the visceral olfactory journey. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that yeah, means. Some big words over there. Furthermore, brownies taste good. It says that on here. I didn't just add yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, it's I don't know a, why they said that. Maybe it's like a joke. But like they're trying to be joke. quirky. It's a joke. Quirky? quirky it's a 7% quirky. IPA, so it's a strong beer. What do you think of the can? I like the can. There's a, there's a woman there. If you can't show see it, it to them, you talk about it. Uh, what color is it? Uh, it is a mixture of purple, or blue, light purple, orange, Pur- and like a neon blue. Oh, I like they add a purple there. Purple haze. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get so it. So the purple's on the bottom here, and yeah. the blue is like her hair and her face. Her outfit is pretty, pretty, pretty randy. Oh, they have just like a, what is this, parsley? Not yeah, parsley. Paisley. Paisley. Parsley is a spice. Paisley. Yeah. figure yeah I, li- I like the can design man uh, there's a he's holding like a something I don't, I don't know, know what it is chakras <laughs> for real some, some chakras some, some Wilson some spirit, evolution it's, ball it's a spirit bomb 
Yeah. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. How about you? What do you think? I, uh, first taste, I, I like it as we continue to break through it. Yeah. Like Color coding, we'll I, I like it. Like the, like the color blocking, I like it. The colors, I feel like it's subtle colors, you know? You know, the girl looks like a cool tattoo. Like, especially with the Paisley outfit. Yeah. It, yeah. it looks like, uh, I don't know if you've seen the back of like Sailor Jerry labels, how they yeah. have like the pinup girls. Yeah. It's just a little bit more detailed than that, but it, it could go that route. Yeah, I like the can. Great Lakes Brewing. Yeah. Uh, how, so, about, how about the taste? The taste is good. I'm enjoying it so far. It does taste like everything that it described there. It is a bit fruity. And a bit of For a 7% cake. IPA, it's not as bitter as I feared. I feel like it's forcing me to sip it. What do you I, mean? I don't feel like it's... You know how you sip it. You I, just I, drown that, yeah. you down that drink. <laughs> just, <laughs> roll the clip. Bottoms up. I think you're just supposed to sip it. Yeah, right? I think so. I think it's for I think it's for sipping. I feel like it's stronger tasting, so it I feel like strong. I'm not taking as as big sips as I normally would. Yes, yes, I'm about to sneeze. Yeah, <coughs> fine. Every uh, time I drink IPAs, I sneeze. Uh, <laughs> that's that's a rule. Telltale sign he's allergic to bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to go back to the uh, the PR, and I want to make this video kind of informational video yeah. I also don't take legal advice from anyone oh else. no no this is just something that might be a bit informational might help you with your day of course get a lawyer and everything now i sent you uh my notes if you could bring those out so i could look at them and, and reference them while i explain the situation oh okay <clears throat> so i've been i i started dating my wife four years ago we got married last year and Gave her a little bit of a rundown about the whole situation. I'm going to film this episode. I'm going to talk about this. So I said, give me some notes that I could write. So she said, as soon as you start dating, if, if you think you want to pursue this and want to take this route to get a citizenship or a, a, a PR, I should say, yeah. uh, first thing you want to do is start a joint account, take lots of pictures, and uh, know where they're all from. Like, I, we, we went on vacation here. We went to Niagara here. We were at a friend's birthday party. All that kind of stuff. You want to have like recollection of, of where all these photos were taken. Uh, make your relationship public. Social media is a big help. That might be a bit of a nuisance for some people. Yeah. Especially but also, like, I feel like we're pitching game to people who want to bamboozle the system. So you want to make your relationship public with social media. You want to get uh, contracts that are mutual, like uh, lease agreements, yeah. phone bills. Yeah. Uh, any sort of bills that, that can happen where it goes to the same address proves that you're living together living together helps a lot she says you kind of want to both have the same address then eventually you get letters from friends and family uh, prove to the government that the person sponsoring you can provide and, and handle the bills for both people and then uh, once you get married once you once you receive the marriage license you can apply for the PR and in our instance, it was one year after we got the marriage license, we submitted the papers that she got her PR. So it could take up to a year after that point. That's, that's, so once, once you get the marriage license, you submit all the evidence, everything that you need, all the photos, all the letters, recommendation, and all this, all this stuff, people saying, I know this couple, they're, you know, they're great, whatever. Yeah. Been to these, these events with them. I might have been one of the people that said it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, obviously do this with the person that you are in love with of course want to continue yeah. your life because right? getting divorced is a sticky situation it's like a, it's like you know you got to prove that you could fund them so i won't say the exact price number that you need in your bank account it's nothing insane though uh and then once once you submit all this stuff the government will reach out to you through mail for biometrics and medical exams so the reason for these biometrics and medical exams no. sorry i screenshot that yeah the reason for the biometrics and medical exams is biometrics is like your fingerprints and your uh, like eye scans and stuff. To they they want to monitor us. Uh, they want to control us. They want to know that you're not a criminal from I'm a different kidding. country escaping. I'm kidding, obviously. Yeah. yeah, of course. It's so just like a COVID conspiracy. <laughs> for sure. So that's the reason. And then the other thing for the uh, health exam is to see if you're not terminally ill. Because then uh, insurance does not end up covering. No, I didn't your cost. know that. Yeah, that's a really weird I thing. I knew I, I went to a, 
medical exam before I got my PR, but like I didn't know it was for that. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. So that was the very thing. Like, say you brought the plague here or something. Yeah, like yeah. Some incurable. It's like they can't afford yeah, to yeah, yeah. to deal with that for you. You know. Yeah. I mean, there we go. Yeah. Congrats to Priscilla. Yeah, it was sick. Yeah. All right. So that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Like. Yeah, it's well, the good. process took some time, obviously. Oh, dude, it took forever. The paperwork in Canada takes a long time. I mean, first off, it's like three years of dating. Like, do I really want to marry her? Mm-hmm. You know, does she really want to marry me? She, yeah. Of course, she has a say in it, too. Yeah. Right? I didn't trade yeah. her for a cow or anything. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, I just have to see if she likes me as well. And yeah. luckily, she does, so... Then, then you get married, and then once you're married, you gotta wait probably a year, sometimes more. But she's telling me some very interesting things. Like mm-hmm. uh, sometimes these people can like come to your door, yeah, or like reach out to you and ask you like, how many doors do you have in your house? Oh yeah, I don't know about it in Canada, but I know in the U.S. Like one of my friends from grad school married an American. She was I think Kenyan or something, mm-hmm. and they would ask like. Where is the, where is the controller for the AC? Yeah, like that, like, that kind like of stuff. Things like that. How so just TVs? so just to prove that like, you live in the same uh, area. How many? And TVs? I think she actually forgot where it was because she never touches that. Yeah, she never touches it. She doesn't know like. Do they give her time to like, walk in her house and be like? No, no, yeah, no, it's right no, here? no. It's not like that. It's, it's not. The way she told it to me was like it wasn't like in the house. Oh. It's more like I think it was when they were first getting married. Uh-huh. So they went to like a government building or something where they were being, you know, interrogated. Yeah. Or maybe it was in the house. Maybe the agents came to the house. I don't know. But like I know that like they were living together, but she didn't know it because yeah. she never used the AC or, or, or HVAC system. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Bro, yeah. every time I drink IPAs, I, I, I get clogged up. Really? I s- want to sneeze. I don't know what's it with the... This might be a medical condition. <laughs> like, what the hell is up with the IPAs that always it's, make me do this? Like, possible. I swear, I don't know. Like, the fuck... It's possible. You know, like, I will give you this, though. This IPA tastes better than a lot of ones that we normally drink. A lot, yeah, it tastes better. Great Lakes Brewery yeah. does their thing. Uh, shouts out to them. Did we speak to them? Uh, we did not. Okay. I don't think that I they take were back there. the shouts out. No, we didn't shout I'm out. not giving a free plug. <laughs> That's exactly what this whole let, show let, is. Let us touch the bag first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Sent to the can. <laughs> Sent to the whole can. Sent to the beer can. That will teach. Sent to the mug. You know, we we're not letting this happen. But yeah, like, oh man. Like, maybe this is an IPA thing. Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Oh, right, let me not show my socks. Oh, uh, for free? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk more about the, the Roadhouse Festival, though. So, yeah. uh, another fun thing about that is. A lot that, of nice You music. scored the boot toss for free. Oh, I, yeah, he missed. He couldn't record it. No, I don't think I won. I think that was. I think it was a scam. Yeah. So, Bloondies. Bloondstones, whatever. Uh, Blunderstones. Some some shoe company will throw it up on the screen. Like a famous like Chelsea boot yeah. producer. I think they're based in Australia. Yeah. It's famous so you've seen people like two hundred dollars a boot. So it's not yeah. cheap, it's premium and we good were just quality boots. Throwing them. <laughs> yeah. So they give you like three boots, you throw it into a basket from what ten uh, twenty a not twenty. Big, like a big trash can. Yeah, twenty maybe feet like away. Twenty feet out. Yeah. And three point range. You bought. So we waited in line for like what fifteen minutes yeah. and nobody hit it. My turn, first try. First try. Splash. First. Hands Splash. of God. Hand of God. Hand, hand, of God. Hand, hand to God. I was like Steph Curry. Yeah. I'm like, you people don't know how much I play ball every week. You like, know, you know how pissed I was? Because like, he recorded me do it. <laughs> and then as soon as I went to record him, some guy like tasked me on the shoulder. And he's like, oh, excuse me, what is this? And I'm like, oh, yeah, you just go. You throw the shoe in and then you, you win some prizes. And then I turn around. And like, like, like you don't know. Yeah. Watch for 10 yeah, seconds, you dude. understand. I turn around to like get my phone to press record. And then this guy's just like, I see it midair and just bang. Splash. Right I, was, I was Steph Curry with it. Was, left the hangout and, sh- yeah. and all that. I was freaking out, man. I almost turned around midair. Yeah. I almost shimmied, you know. 
You did it underhand, right? I did it underhand. I tried, I tried underhand for the first one, and I just yeah. felt more comfortable throwing overhand. And I just bricked. But that's me. Right? Yeah, I was annoyed. I wish it was captured on the camera. I saw that guy with the corner of my eye. Like, dude, just watch for like 10 yeah. seconds. You get the gist yeah, of it. He f***ed up. But Bloomdies also, <coughs> Bloomstones or whatever the brand is, Yeah. they also bamboozled us. I felt like doing such a difficult task. Yeah, it wasn't a lot of people score. Like it wasn't, yeah, we waited online like what, 15 minutes, uh, maybe, maybe the whole day watch like 25, like, 30 people. I think and, only like two scored. You and I saw like two more maybe, yeah. I don't remember. Like, and nobody hit it before me, probably what, 20, 25 people, 30 yeah. people. Nobody hit it, I hit it. I'm thinking, I won one. No, you have to enter a lottery. You won a chance to enter a raffle. That's what happened. Bruh. Yeah, like the hell? Like, shenanigans. Is this Jordan 1's with limited colorway? Is this yeah. Jordan 4's? Yeah. Is this Jordan 3's? What do you think about that whole kind of process to get shoes? Kind of weird, right? Or raffle? The whole raffle thing. Raffles, I get it. Then it's popular. I get it. But you still have to pay. It's a chance to buy I actually, it, though. I That's actually, all yeah, it yeah, is. But it's... this wasn't a chance to buy it. This is still... Uh, this you I win. Print, yeah. Yeah. This wasn't a raffle. This is just... You get it for free, but still, like... Fam... Uh, the whole day, only like probably three, four people hit it. Mm -hmm. Give me one. Let's Give all of us one. You're you're a famous multi million yeah. dollar company. Yeah, they should have had like ten on standby to hand yeah. out right then. Yeah. But then it's like sizes and all that shit. Nah, that, that, I get it, but like still send it to my address. Oh yeah, for sure. Let's let's talk about pros and cons of the, of the festival. I think some pros were uh, a lot a lot of interesting pros here. So. One was speed. The lineup, we didn't wait in the line too long no. to, to enter. We didn't wait up in lineups for beer very long. No. Uh, friendly people. Friendly people. People like, offer the drinks. Uh, and my mom always tells me, don't take drinks from strangers you yeah, don't know. Yeah, we didn't so want to take I, their drinks. So I didn't want to take their Plus, they offered us energy drink. Yeah, they offered us like Red Bull. We're like, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people who were... At the event, like the vendors are very, very polite, friendly. Like, of course, they're trying to promote their product yeah. and everything, but yeah. they are all in good spirits, yeah. so that was sick. Yeah. Uh, food was pretty good. You got some nice, nice oysters there from Oyster Boy. Oysters were good. Coffee was good. That <coughs> lady, uh, she, she said she gets her coffee from Jamaica. I think she was Jamaican. Mm -hmm. She That coffee was good. I don't know what it's called. I'm going to butcher it, but something like Jamaican coffee. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's, Check the um, video, it was there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think that's it. Oh, 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 and the last one is, I was surprised at uh, the amount of women there. I thought it was literally just going to be a bro fest. Yeah. And that's what I was ready for. But there was actually so many girls there, and I was like, huh, yeah. this is very interesting. I wasn't expecting that many beer drinkers. When we were talking to Whitewater, they were saying like they're really into the sours. Yeah. Like, what the yeah. hell? Sours? Like my whole like world was... perception, yeah, like because yeah. you meet certain people here in Toronto, yeah, and a lot of people came from like cities like Sudbury and whatever. Yeah. Like, I'm like, you guys came all the way here. That was also Sudbury must be boring. Very interesting. Yeah. Like you know, like you came all the way here to and, have fun. Like, and the audience or whatever, the, the goers, the event goers, like, some of them were dedicated, like, have been there every year, six years in yeah. a row, seven years in a row. I'm like, damn, I'm going to go again next year, because that was, that was a really fun I time. I think we take these things for granted when, yeah. when you live in a big city. You take festivals like this for granted, whereas people who come outside the city, they've been here, like, what, four times in a, four years in a row. Yeah. This is like an event on their calendar that yeah. they mark. We, like, Bring we have this... Yeah, they, they, <laughs> it, we take this, we take these things for granted because we live in the city. There's always something going on. It's like tyranny of choice, and more, oh. more often, like more, I don't even go to any one of them because I know I can just go to one. Like I yeah. have options. I just play you just know because you hop on the subway one day or the or the, or the TTC or the bus, yeah. and you just like it's packed with everyone like running a theme, and you're like, yeah. what the hell, like. Yeah. What's going on? It's not Halloween right now, but everyone's yeah. wearing red yeah. for some reason. Yeah. Or Toga whatever. party or something. Yeah, and you're like, what the hell's yeah. going on? Or the worst is like the pantsless subway. Like, if you just happen to stumble upon that, it's the I think the naked bike ride huh? is the worst. Oh, yeah. And they use the bike sharing bikes. Dog. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> That's messed up, yeah, bro. One day they. Yeah, bro. That's bad. 
Uh, some of the comments of the of the festival. Um, I mean, with every festival, the washrooms aren't the best, right? They weren't the, they weren't the worst I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm just, lucky that my bowel moments were a yeah, one yeah, that's that what day. I they because exactly. I would not want to sit on. Yeah, it was it was disgusting. Yeah. And you see, like, the steam whistle washer, like, the inside, they have, like, oh, yeah. the, the clean washers, but the women's lineup was just wrapping around yeah. the building. Yeah. Because the, the, the portable ones, oh, my God. Yeah. Like, uh, you could catch a, probably a disease there off contact. Yeah. Like, not, not like, sit, but, like, just breathing that air. Yeah. It was... I think food, I, I held my breath. I think food prices were pretty whack, but I feel like that's... Generality with with a generalization of like every festival you go to. Luckily, yeah, like you're we, locked in, you can't. Yeah, we ate before and, and yeah. then we went to a food court after. Also, when you go to these kind of festivals, make sure you eat some sort of. Well, if you eat meat, make sure you eat meat that allows for you to deal with the alcohol a bit better. Big con, the biggest con, of all, was there was no beer pong there. <laughs> no form of, of drinking game there, which like blew my mind. That's I true. think maybe some of these places don't want to promote like degenerate drinking. And it's also craft beer festival, right? You don't do beer no. pong with craft beer. Yeah, you do it with what PBR. Yeah, but like I, I feel like you know they do it with water and you just sip your your drink while you play. Like so you're not gonna like rent yeah. a ball 100 people yeah touch, like you just to play it to play it nobody even yeah, cares exactly. about whether you sip it or not right so they should have beer pong there because like we would have we would have showed out you yeah. know that would have been a fun time yeah man back in the college days we would put real beer in there yes and the ball the ping pong ball would we stop that we stop that would like bounce off everywhere like would have pieces of hair dust grossest grossest thing ever and, and then, then we like, knock it, it over just on it the beer the and like yeah like I, I no, the that. floor is being sticky. It's nothing like I got hair oh, on my I beard now. That. I have to. I think. hated that. And uh, I'm glad we have evolved as a society yeah. and a civilization. Yeah. You know, I water think, cups are where it's at. Priscilla was also like, "What is this in Mexico? We don't do this." And I'm like, "That's dirty as hell, man. We used we used to do that, and it's yeah. just it was gross when you like have a you crack open a, a nice expensive beer or like premium beer." And there's and like get dirt like on it. Hair and all this garbage. There's dirt you know? on it. There's dirt on it. I can't even play it. It's passed through 500 fingers at the party. It's who knows who wiped the butt and then fucking yeah. touch those. Imagine playing balls. at a frat party. Like yeah, everybody's like bro. stepping on, came from outside. It's minus 20 outside, mud, slush. Oh. I think yeah. we gotta wrap this episode up. This beer has been tough to drink. Not as tough as I initially feared. It's... I didn't feel like that. But no? What's your rating for it? No, as an IPA, IPAs are tough to drink for me because oh, I want to sneeze all the time and they're bitter and hard to drink. But this is actually pretty smooth for an IPA. That is 7%. Yeah. So I'll give this like a nice little 7. Yeah. So I want to I'm going to give it a 7.5. Okay. Uh, yeah, like he said, it's, it's, it's super smooth. It's tasty. Super smooth for an IPA. Super that's smooth 7%. for an IPA, for sure. Uh, the seven percent thing, like I wouldn't have more yes. than one of them, yeah. or maybe maybe I have two, but then I'd have a very hard time remembering the night, so I would yeah. avoid it. Yeah. But it's just very nice for a one-off. Okay. Very very nice for a one-off. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a sessionable. Takes a long time because it's a whole ass seven percent. Seven percent. So it takes some time. So you can probably watch. Yeah. Like to one put, half of an NBA game. To put that in perspective, imagine drinking 7% homogenized milk. I don't even know what that would be like. I don't even know what the hell that means. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Yeah. Peace out. Peace.